because you're not seeing the payoff, right? But it's actually going into yourself and bringing that creativity out, right? That's where the magic is. It's in the writing. It's in the quill. It's in the workmanship, penmanship. Penmanship is what I'm getting. It's in the it's in the construction, the writing, the creativity of it all. Yeah. So I'm going to encourage you to put doubt aside for a moment and actually embrace that your future desired state king of cups right and it's hearts so really we want to be the head of of our domain the ruler now just be mindful that the ruler the the, the masculine can be actually quite i'm feeling like karate chop yeah like <laughs> Cutthroat, right? Even with a passion, because it's hard to see it. So you can actually be quite passionately, yeah, passionately driven. But the desired state is actual happiness. Yes, and there is happiness, right? So being at the top. There is happiness. It's seven, seven is in relation to spirituality. Again, it's tapping into the feminine quiet space to bring your creativity through. Okay. The energy impacting the card is the three. So here, let's go. Let's have a look at what we need. It's here. Oh. Okay, it's a double three, it's a 33, it's a master number, it was hidden, it was hidden in the base. So at the core issue, the energy impacting your situation is a master number, so it's a 33, so it's threes, yes, but it's hidden. On every step of my journey, I proceed without preconception, right? That's the energy impacting your situation. So you're busy trying to figure it out, and I'm going to tell you, it's a master number. You just need to walk the journey and close your eyes and put the blindfold on because it's actually the, the, the wind beneath your, your, your wings or your, or your sail to blow, right? You can put your sail up. You can, put your, your, you can spread your wings, but if it's not graced, by by the most high by by a greater power than yourself you won't take flight because there won't be no wind to what you're being asked to do is let go and that's the that's your energy impacting your situation you're trying to drive forward through your own intervention and fruition and i just need to tell you letting it go a little bit of the control factor is actually what's going to be the, 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 the wings of your sail. And your highest outcome, which is two, which I'm going to say is support as well. It's, it's 100% support. And I feel there's a, there's a double opportunity here. But I also want to say a double whammy. So... Uh, My favourite word now. Yeah. <laughs> So I, I feel there's a bit of a, you know, there's a blessing and, and a backhander as well, is, is, is what I feel, yeah. Something just keeps on in the bottom here. My body is a safe space, transmuting, breaking down barriers and realisation, right? It, it's at the bottom, right? And it wouldn't shift from the bottom. It doesn't matter how much I was shuffling, it just managed to still sit there. Right. What I'm going to say to you is you're underestimating this. It's being overlooked because it's smaller than the rest. Right. And you're trying to let that bit of it go. But I'm going to tell you it's going to hang around. Right. My body is a safe space. You don't feel that. You don't feel. You, you you don't feel safe in this, is what I'm saying, right? Well, it's what they're saying. But what I'm saying to you, that's just your perception. You are actually completely safe. 